Hello everyone, what's up? It's Shree, of course, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a Tropicraft mod for Minecraft version 1.4.2 and above. That means it should work for future versions to come. Uh, with that said, you can go ahead and leave a comment of any other mod you would like me to show you guys how to install. I'll give you a comment back and tell you guys if I can, if I can do it or not. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get started. What you need to do is you need to open the one link in the description, and it'll redirect you to a new page here. It'll be the Tropicraft uh, forum page for Minecraft. And basically what we're going to do here is we're just going to scroll down and we're going to find the to find downloads for Tropicraft version whatever, please visit this link. Uh, we're just going to click the link under that, so just find that and click that. You'll be redirected to their um, actual website where the download's actually hosted at. Um, you just scroll down here and then you'll see everything that it requires. Um, don't really mind all this, I'll walk everyone through everything. So the first thing we're going to download is the Minecraft Forge version. So I'll just go ahead and download it. So click the download button, and it'll bring you to an add file link. Just wait five seconds, and then you can click the skip ad. So five seconds has passed, now we can skip the ad. So skip ad. And it'll be downloaded to wherever you save it to. Um, I highly recommend saving everything we download to your desktop, so make sure you do that. Um, I'm just going to go back now to the downloads page here. So now that we have Minecraft Forge, we need to get the render player API. Uh, it says grab from this form thread. You can go and click it and open it up. And we're just going to scroll down and go find the newest version, which it says current version, uh, version 1.2, or it could be whatever version uh, for Minecraft 1.4.2. It could be any version. Uh, we're just going to go and click the Mediafire Dropbox. I'll just do Mediafire. You just click it, and then you'll come here to the Mediafire link. Just download it. And I highly recommend saving everything to your desktop. I already have everything on my desktop, so I don't need to worry about it. Uh, so back again. And now we're going to go back to the uh, downloads page again. And now the last thing we need to download is Tropicraft Mod itself. Uh, you can use Mirror 1 or 2. What we're going to do is we're just going to use Mirror 1, where it says download from here, Tropicraft Mirror 1, the chorus dot us, download from here. Uh, so just go and click that. And that will automatically save. It is a big download uh, it's for a mod. It's 16 megabytes. It's a pretty good mod, so I, it's worth the uh, 16 megabytes if you only have a 1 megabyte drive. I'm joking. Alright, so now that we have all, all three of the files deleted, we no longer need to have the internet up for this, so we can just go and close everything. Uh, so now the three files you, you should have on your desktop or wherever you save them to is the MC 1.4.2 Render Player API 1.2 or whatever version it is. Um, and then the next one you'll need will be Minecraft Forge, the newest build in my case at 6.0.1.332. Um, then the next thing you'll need will be the Tropicraft files in parentheses zip inside. Um, it might just be Tropicraft files, who knows, uh, but that's basically what you need. Um, so now what we need to do is we need to actually install all three of these mods. Um, so we're going to go and do that. So on the bottom left here, um, you could do percent app data percent, and then just go and click enter, and that'll bring you to your roaming folder. Um, inside the roaming folder, you'll see a file called .minecraft. Open the .minecraft folder up, and inside here you'll see a folder called bin. Open bin up. And now inside here you'll see a folder called Minecraft dot jar or minecraft executable jar file uh, just click that and right click it open with winrar archiever or archiver I don't even know how to say it but that you just need to have that or you can use uh, 7-zip doesn't really matter either one works um, the thing you're going to have to do here is you're going to need to just click this and delete the meta in folder click yes um, if you don't do that you'll get stuck at the end of a loading screen or you'll get a black screen in your minecraft won't open so make sure you delete that um, now what we need to do is we need to open up the Minecraft Forge that we downloaded. So go ahead and open that up. And on here you'll get all sorts of new folders. Uh, you'll see a meta in folder in there as well, so just make sure that you don't delete this one, but we delete the previous one. Uh, so just right click everything in here, and just select all, and then we're just going to drag and drop it into our Minecraft.jar. So drag and drop it, and click OK. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to install the render player. So go ahead and close the Minecraft Forge Universal. Close that. And then the next thing we need to do is get this uh, render player right here. So go on and click that, open it up. And of course, from here, we're just going to click the close, and we're going to right click, select all, and drag and drop it into our Minecraft.jar. Click OK. Now you can go ahead and close this. Uh, I know there's a changelog.txt, but it doesn't really matter if it's in there. Uh, just ignore that. Just go ahead and close it. Now we have, the, now we have our Minecraft.jar ready to load any mods. We can go and close the Minecraft.jar. Uh, what we need to do now is inside here, you'll be back in the bin folder. Go back to your .minecraft, and we need to create a new folder called mods. So folder, and just name it mods. No capitalization or everything. Just go and do that and enter. Now we need to open up Tropicraft off of our desktop. So open it up. Um, now you'll see there's three zips in here. Now 
don't get freaked out. Uh, there's readme text in here if you get confused by anything. It basically just tells you what to do. Um, tells you to download links and everything. Um, just go and just close that. Uh, what you need to do is you need the core AI, the Tropicraft, and the weather. I'm control clicking to highlight all three of these. Now what you need to do is drag these into your mods folder. So just drag it right there. And then it'll take a second and there you go. Now go ahead and close this. Close that Minecraft and open up your Minecraft.x. I'll just run it. And now we're going to go see if it actually works. Um, as usual, we should have no problems. You'll get this uh, Forge mod loader here. And then you will go to Mojang screen. And of course, we will get no black screen as usual. Um, as I expected, um, I will go and do single player to show you guys some of the items that normally aren't in Minecraft to prove to you that everything's working. So I'll go to single player, create a new world, and I'll go to a creative world just so I can get items and stuff. Uh, create new world. Um, of course, when you install new mods and you have a clean dot Minecraft like I did, then you're not going to have sound in the beginning. It'll take a couple seconds for it to pop in. Um, it'll come in pretty quickly, though, so don't freak out about that. Um, so we're falling through the world here. And I don't know why we're falling through the world. But, uh, let's see, as you can see... Oh, here we go. Pop. Just took a little bit for it to actually generate. Um, that was very odd. Never had that happen before. Um, but yeah, so obviously it was working, that was a little odd, but, um, that shouldn't happen for you, I don't know, maybe it's just something goofing up with my computer or something. Uh, but yeah, so I'll just show you an item that normally isn't Minecraft, like, um, let's see, what is this? Oh, here we go, oh, page two. Alright, so obviously this stuff right here isn't in the game normally, um, breaking, placing, it works, breaking other blocks and placing them work, um, so yeah, everything's working correctly, uh, as you can see. Um, but so yeah, thank you guys for watching. As usual, please write and subscribe, and make sure you leave a comment um, if you guys want me to do any other mod tutorials for you, because I'd be glad to do it. Um, so as usual, please write and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.